Acute kidney injury or AKI is an abrupt decrease in kidney function. Remember, one of the functions of the kidneys is to filter the blood and its products. So if this doesn't work properly, you get an accumulation of certain products in the blood that can be dangerous. Now, anything that leads to hypoperfusion at the glomerulus can result in AKI. And you can break it up into pre-renal causes before the kidneys, intra or intrinsic renal causes at the kidneys, or post-renal causes after the kidneys. So, Pre-renal, what could happen here that reduces blood going to the kidneys leading to hypoperfusion? Well, the heart itself working as a pump, delivering that blood. Anything that stops the heart from working as a pump, like congestive heart failure or myocardial infarction, could do it. The circulating blood volume, anything that reduces this hypovolemia, this could happen due to hemorrhage, for example, that may cause it. Or excessive fluid loss due to overdiuresis. What about if we told all the blood vessels to dilate, systemic vasodilation, such as that that occurs in anaphylaxis. It's gonna reduce the percentage of blood that goes to the kidneys. What if we told the afferent arteriole that goes to the glomerulus to constrict? If you have too many NSAIDs like ibuprofen, it stops prostaglandins, and that then leads to vasoconstriction of the afferent arteriole. All pre-renal causes of AKI. Intrinsic, it can happen at the tubules, it can happen at the glomerulus, it can happen at the vascular supply, it can happen at the interstitium. What causes it? some sort of nephrotoxins, endogenous toxins, renal ischemia, for example, direct trauma and damage, and infections and glomerulonephritis, all causes of intrinsic AKI. Post-renal, so how can something happen after the kidneys result in hyperperfusion at the kidneys? Well, if it backs up the pressure inside these tubules, it's obviously gonna affect it. So anything that results in some sort of stenosis or narrowing, so you could have some sort of prostatic hyperplasia, you could have cancers, tumors, you could have stones, lithiases, for example, all of which post-renal causes. And that's AKI.